morning, everyone, and welcome back to Bay Sunday. I'd like to welcome to the show, once again, author Alan Klein. He is here to talk to us about his book, You Cannot Ruin My Day, or You Can't. You just definitely can't ruin my day. And I got to tell you, you're waking me up this morning, Alan. <laughs> I'm loving that jacket. Thank you. Yeah, it's a waker-upper. Yeah, I love it. Okay, <laughs> tell me, how... What inspired you to write this book, You Can't Ruin My Day? Obviously, somebody must have tried. Yeah, oh, a lot in my life. But the book was inspired right here in San Francisco. I was Saturday morning. I was on my way to the gym, driving on Geary Street, really happy. Just had seen the, the Broadway show Billy Elliot, and I have it in my uh, tape deck, and I'm singing away. And, you know, in Geary, there's a tunnel. This uh -huh. side, it's 35 miles an hour. You get through it, it's 25 miles an hour. I didn't know that, so, you know, I didn't pay attention. I'm happy, I'm singing, and I'm being pulled over for a ticket. And mm. I get the ticket, I get to the gym, I'm still singing, I'm still happy, I'm telling people I just got a speeding ticket, and they're going, ah, you know, you're happy, you're singing, how come? Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm not going to let that policeman or the traffic ticket ruin my day. And I thought how often we give away our power to other mm -hmm. people, to other situations, and the things we can do to not let that happen. That's a really good point because I got stopped once and it ruined my day. Mm -hmm. because. The I, I had a phone call. My dad was in the hospital, so I had to take the call, and I, w I was actually at a stoplight, so I wasn't driving. Mm -hmm. And it was my birthday. Oh. And this police officer gave me a ticket for being on the phone, uh -huh. and he ruined my day. Oh. He ruined my birthday. No, you know, I was out of town speaking, and it was my birthday, and I thought, I'm not going to let anyone ruin my birthday. I was away from my friends, my family. I just told everyone I met it was my birthday. And the greatest moment, I'm in this elevator, you know, mm -hmm. 10 people, and I say, it's my birthday. Let's all sing happy birthday to me. <laughs> and I get off of the floor, and the doors are closing, and they're still singing happy birthday. Well, of course, you you are in a very happy place, but how does one person or someone get to that place? Well, what is your intention? You know, like, how do happy. you wake up in the morning? You know, how... In a fog. <laughs> well, yeah, but see, that's what you don't want. You want to switch that around. But I wake up at 2 in the morning, Ellen. Okay, but you... But I'm waking up. You're waking up. I'm it's, not dead. You know, that, I'm this, waking up, so that's a good thing. What are you grateful for? You know, what, you know, you have a I job have a you, to I go grind. to. You have all these things concentrated yes. on that. Not that, oh, God, it's 2 in the morning, you know. And and just, <laughs> you know, have a, I have a song that I sing when I get up. What's that song? It's... um. Thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, Lord. So whatever your song I'm is, you know, it. sing it. Sing it while you're brushing your teeth, whatever. But how are you going to set your day? Mm -hmm. You know, and then realize, I'm not going to let, no matter what happens, I'm going to not let anyone ruin my day. I'm with you all the way. I try to have a positive approach every single day to even rolling out of bed at 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm just trying to play around with you uh -huh. here. But obviously, though, it's, 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 it's easy to say, don't let anyone ruin your day. But things happen yeah, in the course yeah, of a day. So yeah. how does someone get their mindset there, though? Well, you know, everything we see is through our eyes. Mm -hmm. You see something, it's different than what I see. You see a traffic jam, I see, great, I didn't want to go to that meeting anyhow. Or now <laughs> I have time to practice what I'm going to say on the TV show, whatever it is. So how do you focus? You know, there's a wonderful classic story about two salesmen, and they were sent to this far-off country to sell shoes. They were shoe salesmen and they send back messages. They get there because no one's wearing any shoes. And one sends the message back, um, I'm not going to make any sales here. No one wears any shoes. And the other one sends a message back, great place to sell shoes. Nobody has any. Right. Same situation. How do you look at it? The glass is half empty or exactly. half full. Exactly. Partly sunny or partly cloudy. Right. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> so, but it's all up here. It's all your attitude. It's all how do you look at situations. Uh -huh. I mean, I did a, a speech yesterday and, and a man raised his hand, well, my uncle just died yesterday and I really liked him. And, and I said, well, what was there anything positive about that? And he start rattling off all these things uh -huh. about things he learned from his uncle, how great his uncle was, the stuff that he got from his uncle, whatever. But it was, he turned it around. Instead of this is a loss, I could focus on the positive. So it's all up here. It's all our attitude. All right. So I need to go out and get your book now, too. You Can't Ruin My Day. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Klein, very much. I really greatly appreciate it. If you want more information, 
about You Can't Ruin My Day, log on to AllenKlein.com. That's AllenKlein.com. And I want to thank you so much, uh, so much for making that long trip from Haight-Ashbury to visit <laughs> us this morning. Thank we'll be you. back next week with more Bay Sunday. Make it a great weekend, everyone. Bye.